Let's talk about homogeneous differential equation. So in this video, we're going to solve homogeneous differential equation. So first, let me define what is a homogeneous differential equation. So if every term in a differential equation has the same degree, it is called a homogeneous differential equation. Now, the homogeneous differential equation can be written as this. So that is m as a function of x and y in terms of dx, and n as a function of x and y in terms of dy. So take note, m is in terms of dx and n is in terms of the dy. Now, how are we going to solve the homogeneous differential equation? So what we're going to do is we're going to check which of the m and n function is more simpler. So if m is simpler, we're going to let x equals vy and the dx equals vdy plus y dv. And if n is simpler, we're going to let y equals vx and dy equals vdx plus x dv. Now let's have this example number one. So an example number one is an example of homogeneous differential equation. So for the n, the degree is two. Now for the m, still the degree of this is two. So the degree of one is, uh, the degree of x is one and the degree of y is one. So the total degree of the m function is still two. So this is a homogeneous differential equation. So again, this is our m and this is our n. So, Taking a look at the m and n, we can see that m is much simpler than n. So if m is simpler than n, so we're going to let x equals vy and the dx equals vdy plus y dv. So the next step is we're going to substitute the vy in the variable x and the vdy plus y dv in the dx. So let's substitute now. So this becomes x becomes vy times y, the dx becomes vdy plus y dv, plus we have the x becomes vy squared, plus we have the y squared, dy is equal to zero. Now simplify this, we're going to multiply vy and y. So this becomes vy, vy squared. Then we're going to copy this. Then simplify this, we have v squared, y squared, copy, copy equals to zero. So simplify further, so we can distribute the vy squared in this binomial, same with the dy in this binomial. So this becomes now vy squared times vdy becomes v squared y squared dy plus v square, vy squared plus y is vy cubed dv plus, so this becomes v squared y squared dy plus y squared dy is equal to zero. So if you will notice, all the terms has y squared. So I can factor out the y squared by multiplying both sides of the equation by one over y squared. So multiplying both sides of the equation by one over y squared, this becomes v squared dy. So y squared will be canceled out. Plus we have v y cube dv. So y cube minus uh, y cube divided by y squared, this will be y. So we have vy dv plus, so y squared will be canceled. So we're left with v squared dy and y squared will be canceled. So we're left with dy equals zero. Okay, next. So let's see if we can combine like terms. So do we have any like terms here? Okay, so we have like terms, the v squared dy and the v squared dy. So we can add this. So v squared dy plus v squared dy we have 2v squared dy plus we have the dy plus the vy dv is equal to zero. Now, if you will notice the 2v squared dy and the dy, they have common factor, which is the dy. So we can factor this out. So I'm going to factor out dy. So this becomes now 2v squared plus 1 dy plus vy dv is equal to zero. Now, this is now a separable equation. So recalling our previous discussion, so to solve first to solve a separable equation, we should group y with the dy and the v with the dv. So to do that, multiply both sides of the equation by uh, one over y times two v squared plus one. So this becomes now, dy, so cancel the 2v squared plus 1, so what's left is dy, 
divided by y plus cancel out y. So we're left with v dv over 2v squared plus 1 equals 0. Okay, the next step. So after grouping y with a dy and v with a dv, we're going to integrate now this. So this becomes the integral of dy over y plus the integral of v dv over 2v squared plus 1 equals 0. Now, so we can make use of the u substitution. So let u v equal to 2v squared plus 1 and the du will be 4v dv. Okay? So the integral of dy over y is simply ln y. Now, so the v dv is actually this. And if I'm going to multiply the v dv by 4, I'm going to multiply this by the correction factor 1 over 4. So this is now equal to our du and this is our u. So this becomes now ln y plus 1 fourth. So this is our du over u. The 2v squared plus 1 is our u is equal to 0. Now integrating this, so ln y plus this is actually equal to 1 fourth. The integral of du over u is ln u equals c. Okay, so... Actually, this is plus C, so I can just write C on the right side. So if I'm going to add C and transpose the C, this becomes minus C or negative C. And negative C is still a constant. So I can just write here C instead of negative C. Okay, so let's proceed. So what we're going to do is we're going to substitute back the U in ln U. So this becomes ln Y plus 1 fourth ln the value of U. 2v squared plus 1 equals c. Now, so we can get rid away of the fraction by multiplying both sides of the equation by 4. So multiplying both sides of the equation by 4, this becomes 4 ln y plus ln 2v squared plus 1 equals c. Now, by loss of logarithm, the 4 ln y actually becomes ln y raised to 4. So just copy this. And by loss of logarithm again, this becomes ln y raised to 4 times 2v squared plus 1 equals c. So now I can remove ln by raising this to e. So this becomes e raised to ln y raised to 4 times 2v squared plus 1. So if I raise the left side of the equation to e, so I should do the same on the right side. So this will be e raised to c. So this would cancel. So we're left with y raised to 4, 2v squared plus 1. And e raised to c is still c. Now, so next is we need to remove the v here. So we can remove this by substituting the value of v. So we're going to go back here. Since we let x equals v times y, so V now becomes X over Y. So this is the value of V that we're going to substitute here. So substituting this X over Y into V, this becomes now Y raised to 4, 2 times X over Y, quantity squared plus 1 is equal to C. Now let us simplify this. So we have now Y raised to 4, 2 times X squared over Y squared plus 1 equals C. Now again, simplifying this, Inside the parenthesis further, so this becomes now y raised to 4 times 2x squared plus y squared over y squared. So this is y squared divided by y squared is 1 times 2x squared is 2x squared plus y squared times 1 is y squared. So this is still equals to c. Now y raised to 4 and y squared, this will be cancelled and this will be equal to y squared. As the equation becomes y squared times 2x squared plus y squared equals to c. Now, this is now the general equation. So this is now our answer. So we don't have now variable v and we don't have now dx and dy. So this will be our answer. So the general solution. Okay, so let's have our sample number two. So suppose we have now 3 times the quantity 3x squared plus y squared dx minus 2xy dy is equal to 0. So again, this will be our m, the dx will be the m, and the dy will be the n. So 
check, which is more, which is much simpler. So we can see that n is much simpler than m. So we can let y equals vx. So since n is simpler, so we can let y equals vx. And the dy will be vdx plus x dv. So again, same procedure. We're going to substitute the vx into the variable y and the vdx plus x dv into the dy. So substituting, this becomes three times the quantity 3x squared plus the y will be vx quantity squared dx minus we have 2x times the y will be vx and the dy will be vdx plus x dv equals zero. So simplify this. We have now three. So we have three times 3x squared plus we have the vx raised to two will be v squared x squared dx minus so multiplying this we have 2v squared i mean 2vx squared then just copy this equals to zero now simplify further so we can distribute three in this binomial same with the dx so this becomes now three times three x squared will be nine x squared dx plus three v squared x squared dx minus, so distribute this monomial to the binomial, this becomes negative 2v squared x squared dx, negative 2v squared times this, so this becomes negative 2v x cubed dv is equal to zero. Then you will notice that all the terms have x squared, so we can Factor this out by dividing or multiplying both sides of the equation by 1 over x squared. So by, the, by multiplying this by 1 over x, x squared, this becomes now 9 dx. So we can cancel out the x squared plus v squared dx, cancel out the x squared, minus 2v squared dx, cancel out the x squared, minus 2v x dv we have x cubed divided by x squared is simply x and dv equals zero. Next, let's check if there are um, like terms that we can combine. Okay, so we have now the 3v squared dx and the negative 2v squared dx. So we can now subtract this. So this becomes now 9dx plus v squared dx minus 2vx dv is equal to zero. Now you will notice this, that this two terms, actually they have um, common factor, which is the dx. So we can factor out the dx. So we have now v squared plus nine dx minus two vx dv is equal to zero. And looking at this equation, this is now actually a separable equation. So again, how are we going to solve the separable DE? So we're going to group X with the DX and the V with the DV. So I can do this by multiplying both sides of the equation by one over X times the V squared plus nine. So I can cancel out V squared plus nine here as well as the X here. So we can cancel out this. So we're left with dx over x minus 2v dv over v squared plus 9 equals 0. Now, since we have grouped the dx with the x and the dv with the v, next step is to integrate this. So this becomes now the integral of dx over x minus the integral of this. So again, we can use the u substitution. So we can let u as 2v squared plus 9, and the du will be equals to v dv. Now you will notice that 2v dv, this is actually the du. So we can just substitute the du here. We can just write this as du, and this is as our u. So we have the different the integral of dx over x minus the du over u equal is 0. Now let us integrate this, and this is simply equal to ln x minus ln u equals c. 
Now, if you will notice, I did not multiply any correction factor here since I did not multiply any number in our DU. Okay, so instead of writing plus C here, so I can just write C in this uh, on the right side of the equation. Okay, so next we're going to substitute back the U. This becomes now ln x minus ln the value of u, which is v squared plus 9 equals c. Transpose this ln, negative ln v squared plus 9 on the other side. So this will become positive. But to remove ln, I'm just going to raise this into e. So we have now e raised to ln x. And we have now e raised to ln v squared plus 9 plus c. So this e raised to ln times v squared plus 9 plus c can actually be rewritten as this. So we have e raised to ln e, v squared plus 9 times e raised to c. Now we can cancel out e ln, e ln, so we're left with x and v squared plus 9 and e raised to c is simply c. That is constant. Now, so we have now remove ln, and we have now the, this equation x equals v squared plus 9 times c. So the next step is we're going to substitute the value of v here. So we're going to go back to this. So we let y equals vx. So the v is actually equal to y over x. So we're just going to substitute this y over x into v in this v. So this becomes now x equals... Um, the quantity y over x squared plus 9 times c. Now, simplifying this, this becomes now y squared over x squared. And simplifying this further, we have now x squared plus 9x 9, 9 squared over x squared. So this is now x squared divided by x squared is 1 times y squared is y squared. Plus, we have x squared times 9 is 9x squared. So again, we can get rid of the denominator and multiplying both sides of the equation by x squared. So multiplying this by x squared, this becomes now x cubed minus, we can cancel this out. So we're left with y squared plus 9x squared c. And this is now our general solution. Thank you.